All right, welcome to another 902 gaming video. I'm going to be doing today another deck list from January 24th. Um, this one is a mono blue snow deck, I guess. Although there's not, the only reason it looks to be playing the snow cards is because of Faceless Haven, which we now know is banned in standard. Um, and the Ascendant Spirit. There doesn't seem to be any other, uh, I don't see anything in the sideboard here. Uh, it's playing some interesting cards. I mean, it's basically just mono blue. It's got a bit of a curve to it. Um, it's not really playing, it's only playing a few uh, sorceries, um, some in a couple of instants, uh, playing Hallbreaker Horror in the main uh, with very little spells. Um, but this deck seems to be focused around, I think, around Alrund potentially, or possibly the side or the back side of that card. Uh, the Hakka God of Whispers, I think it's called. Let's see here. Uh, or sorry, Hakka Whispering Raven. Uh, whenever it deals damage, you can return it to its owner's hand, and then you scry two. So it's a two mana, basically every turn, or every other turn, you get to scry two. Uh, it's playing a lot of lands. Uh, 28 to be exact. Uh, it's playing Spectral Adversary. Uh, it's playing a few, uh, a few creatures. Uh, just can't be blocked here. Big Dragon. Uh, Grazalax. I think the Yawn T and the Grazalax are pretty good together. Um, Mind Flare, obviously. Uh, Dream Shackle Geist. Essentially what this deck is trying to do is basically hit 5 mana and drop some of its big bombs. Um, and be able to uh, just kind of take over the game with Mind Flares uh, and stuff like that. Uh, but we're going to give it a go. Uh, not playing again. I'm only playing best of one, and I think this deck is probably one of those decks that will suffer from being best of best of one. Um, just because it's it's missing a bunch of cards. I think like Fading Hope should probably be in the main deck. Um, you know, maybe even Overcharged Amalgam would be a sweet card in the main deck. Um, but I think yeah, I think this is the crux of the deck. Uh, if I'm were to, if I were to guess, this is either got to be some form of the card advantage or something. Uh, we have some. Uh, we also, along with Mind Flayer, we also have Tempted by Auric. Tempted by the Auric. Um, you gain control of one creature or Planeswalker, van mana value three or less. So uh, they cannot get it back once you cast this spell. So I think that's why it's playing so many so many lands. You really want to hit a land every single turn. Uh, so we'll give it a go. Oops. Play a couple of best of ones, see how we do. Um... Where are we at here? Uh, do, do. Mm. Oh, there we go. Mono blue. So I mean, your your mana is going to be pretty good. Um, you have the Hall of the Storm Giants as well. Uh, I'm looking just to end the game, I guess, with the um, Hullbreaker Horror. But I have a feeling against very fast aggro decks, you're pretty much dead. I think this deck is trying to prey on the blue deck, or sorry, the 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 mono black snow decks, black X snow decks, um, maybe black white stuff like that. Tempted by the orc also allows you to gain control of a planeswalker. So, um, okay, this looks pretty good. Sure. Probably lose the Ascendant Spirit. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, I think it's got to be this. Um, I'm gonna play the Faceless Haven. Play this. Now, unfortunately, if they are just mono black discard, I'm pretty much dead. So, yep. Play another Elder Fang. Oh, poison the cup. Cool. Okay. Um. Yep. Let's 
Terrific. <laughs> uh, play Field of Ruin here. Um, hmm. Um, it's kind of, hmm. I think I'll have, I think I'm going to pass here. There's not really a lot I can do. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I thought. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it's basically a horrible, horrible matchup here. But that's okay. Go get myself a island. Think. Sure. <laughs> so for 28 lands, I haven't really drawn a lot of land cards lately. <laughs> Alrighty. happen to draw another blood chiefs <laughs> nice good plays good plays of course <laughs> uh my goodness yep there's literally nothing i can do really bad uh really bad matchup you got it on to the next one what a terrible matchup. <clears throat> I'll try again. Um, yeah, it's just all the discard. You know, your your hands are too slow for, for that. And they drew very, very well after all the discard that they played. Um, multiple removal spells. Uh, basically, they drew perfect, I think. Um, I don't think they could have drawn any better than they actually did there. I think I also maybe made a mistake, but uh, I don't, eh, I don't think. I would have been, a, I mean, if I didn't phase that out, I wouldn't have been able to attack. So, six of one, I guess. You, you tempted by Oric and it was phased out. Not a lot you can do there. All right, this time I don't have as many colorless lands, which helps tremendously, I think. Uh, we got a bit, a bit of a better curve now. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Not a hundred percent sure what this deck is trying to beat. Um. Although this card against this deck should be very, very good. 
Okay. Mm, okay. I should be, quote unquote. There's no benefit. Is there any benefit to if this thing completes the dungeon? No. Okay. I think we'll take this one. Um, it's possible that Tomb of Annihilation. Yeah, let's try that. I think maybe this should be <laughs> like a four of. Mm. All right. Nice. Um, I'm not going to bother using the uh, Tempted by the Auric yet. Um, hmm. We're going to pass. I have the Spectral Adversary that I'll use. Uh, potentially just phase out the borrow time, I think. Or maybe the pacifism. Okay. Yep. Okay. I can go to the Oubliette, discard a card, sacrifice creature, an artifact, and a land. Um, we're just going to try this, though. Um, I'm going to decline. Uh, and now we will play. Um, hmm. I could steal both of their creatures. Um, looks like they're going to be phasing that out constantly. Uh, we'll just play this. End the turn. Yep. This creature or planeswalker. Okay. Definitely not attacking here. Probably bounce this thing out. So it comes back and they get another life that gets bigger. All good, I think. Yep. Sure. Alrighty. Play Faceless Haven. Um, go to combat. Uh, we'll attack here. Um, hmm. So now I have six, so I can phase out two permanents. 
Um. Hmm. I can mind flare or something if I want to. Uh. Yeah. I'm getting control of that. And then end the turn. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. What does this thing do? Gain life, gain that much life plus one. Okay. I can still gain control of this with the Mind Flayer if I want to. Okay. My turn. Alrighty. Um, this thing becomes a 4-4. Four, four. They were a bit slower in this game. I, it just isn't, uh, yeah. There's not a lot you can do there. I mean, you, you fall pretty far behind. It might have been a different matchup if they were, they had drawn slightly differently and really got the, um, the one mana cleric early. Uh, but so far, it seems like <laughs> the card I want, the, the cards that I want the most, uh, Grazalax and Yonti. Uh, I want them pretty early because not being able to be blocked and then um, venturing and then drawing a card is on top of that. It's actually pretty good. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's see how we do here. I have a two drop. Okay. Mono blue. Uh, unfortunately. Well, this can come tapped, and then I can play this, or I can play this as well. I needed to draw another. That would have been good. I have an untapped land there. Draw a card. Uh. We'll play Haka, Whispering Raven. See how we do. I'm not 100% sure if this deck just doesn't need to be all snow. Okay. Yep. I kind of need to draw nothing but lands here. Okay, that's pretty good. Um. Wait, this thing doesn't have a reach, does it? Although, it will do a lot of damage. Hmm. Uh, I want to scry two and then draw a card. Boo boy, I don't want either one of those. Although, s no, I don't want either one of those. That's okay. Uh, we'll play the other one. There we go. So I have attempted by Auric, which means I can take the Toll Volar. Okay. Get a fight here. Shocker. Yep. Do they have trample? Uh ugh. There's not a lot I can do here. I'm not sure. I 
think I just have to take it. Even though they're going to draw a bunch of cards, it's not. I don't think trading these two off for, um, for that's a very good idea. Uh, really need to draw lands here. Um, okay. I'm not sure which one I should take here. I think it's this. I gotta just take the most powerful one, I guess. Nope. Cancel. Uh, is it just one? Yeah. Okay. Still no land. <laughs> Already? 30, 28 land, almost 50% land. And four lands I've seen so far. Like, and I got the scry twice as well. So, yikes. Okay. Probably get fought down again. Yeah. Oh, no. No fight. Okay. Two attacks. Let me draw a card. Um, I think I need to block just to save some damage, I think. Ugh, come on, deck. <laughs> um, wow. That's terrible. Um. I have Spectral Adversary as well. Uh, yeah. We got a fight. Need to draw a land. Need to draw a land. If I do not draw a land, I lose here. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I need to draw land here. If I don't draw land, I'm dead. I likely lose anyway, but at least I trade off here some. Alrighty. Choose land for just keep. Nice. All right. <laughs> Innistrad's ancient magic and your own will. So anything comes into play now. Okay, so it becomes a Yeah, that's fine. Minus three. I could have drawn a card there, but I mean, obviously, I'll get blown out here if they uh, have another Blizzard Brawl. 
or some other way to fight. Get in trouble. Okay. So we plus again. Or I guess if you minus, you get two three threes. That's pretty sweet. Yep. Okay. Yoink. Um, no attacks. Any of your end step, choose a card type, build two up to card your put all chosen cards will go this way, but the rest of the bottom line in order. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, got another. Okay, that's fine too. Do you just die here? Um. It's eight. So if I. Uh. Hmm. Uh, I saw the giant. I have the Hall of the Storm Giants too, so I will block and get rid of this here. Oh, I think trampled. From what? Oh, it must be from the spell that gave a trample? Or no? It gave a trample. Is it this? No. It gave a trample. Oh, did I miss? Oh, was it this? Oh, yeah, okay. Um. Trying to think here. Well, they have to block. Okay. I get the draw card. I have two choices. We'll play. We'll play this. And we'll play the Whispering Raven as well. And I got a token. <laughs> it doesn't give. Oh, well. <laughs> yep. Wow. <laughs> oh, I guess they flashed a pack. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's a shame. Wasn't really much I can do. Yeah. Game over. Um, maybe not, actually. So they'll trample. So if I block here and I block here, I will take seven exactly. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, I guess this tramples as well. Oh well, <laughs> pretty much uh, good draws there. I I stuck on four lands for far too many turns. I think. Um. We will. Uh, I think that's probably gonna do it. I think. Uh, I might have misplayed in that last game too. Um. 
I think first and foremost, uh, I think I'm going to remove those. Um, yeah, I think removing the, that's 26 lands cancel. Um, I don't, I mean, because of the ban that's coming up with it, I don't see playing it. So I'd, I'd rather see a little bit more of this maybe. Um, you maybe play um, Crawling Barons instead. Maybe play one or two copies of Crawling Barons. Um, I'll cut, actually, I yeah, cut that down by one. Uh, just because I think eventually, you know, over the course of many games, you'll, you'll end up drawing a lot of lands a lot of the times I would imagine. Um, and then having, being able to dump that extra mana to Crawling Barons would be pretty good. Um, so as for the deck, um, Tempted by the Orc and Mind Flayer, extremely, extremely good. Um, I also think this combination is very good. So I'd almost want to play way more of that. I played this card in the past, not a big fan of it. Um, and unfortunately, I didn't see this card play out at all uh, in any way that I liked uh, whatsoever. Um, so that's that's a good thing because that saves you from actually uh, spending the Mythic Wild cards on it. Um, so I would definitely... I don't know what the right number would be to remove. Um, it may be all of them. Um, and I would think, um, I mean, you know, the Spectre Adversary was great. This, this and these two in combination were fantastic. Um, Tented by Oric was always great. Imrith was pretty good. Uh, I don't know about playing this many Hullbreaker Horrors. Uh, you may see only, I think you only ever just want one. Uh, if you're playing Snow, that might as well be four as well. Um, you're really relying on this card, I think, quite a bit. Um, possibly four considers as well. Um, let me see. Oops. Let's see what else is there. I think potentially another three drop, maybe, to, to sort of round out your curve a bit. Um, I mean, this, I think Cemetery Illuminators played in the sideboard. Yeah, but I wasn't a big fan of that card. I'm um, not playing enough Flash Creatures. There's only playing two, I think. So uh, I like Overcharged Amalgam. Um, a Dragon Turtle. A Dragon Turtle is probably the right choice here, I think. Just so you can shut down a creature. Uh, I would have liked to have had it a few times, I think. But this is... I mean, it's kind of difficult because, you know, you have Spectral Adversary and then you have all these these permanents that you want to cast. Uh, I think I think Spectral Adversary just gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of answers for creatures and, you know, certain permanents and stuff like that. So I, I really like the Spectral Adversary quite a bit. Um, but, you know, it doesn't seem like a deck that you really want to play. Uh, you know, you, you basically just, you want to tap out every single turn. Um, and I think to that end, you might want something... Um, potentially maybe even something like this but um it's it's attempted by auric that costs four mana if it's targeting a one so it potentially scales uh, that might be an interesting card as well to to put in uh but this is probably where i would end up going with the deck the other possibility is to go with um because you're monocolored um maybe go with a few either a couple of celestis Maybe even the replicating ring, like my opponent was playing in this the second game there. I think um, something like that. I think for sure. Uh, maybe even the Strixhaven Stadium, although I doubt it. Uh, probably that you probably want to play a couple of the Celestis. Uh, maybe drop um, Grazalax um, because your mana curve is so high. You're playing a lot of four drops, a lot of five drops. Um, you just a couple seven, one seven drop, I guess. Um, I still kind of like the. Uh, the X spell. So I, I kind of like this. Uh, this is likely where I would go with the deck. Um, I never saw Consider, but I don't know if I really needed it. Um, but it would be good to have with Hullbreaker Horror. I also think playing some number of Fading Hope. I think Fading Hope's in the sideboard for this deck. I think you need to play Fading Hope in the main deck as well somewhere. You can fit it somehow, I guess. Um, maybe not as many. Maybe Cut Attempted by Auric and then uh, run a Fading Hope in the main deck. Um, 
yeah, maybe maybe something like this because you still have your four control magic spells, you still have your four mind players. Uh, I think it's a way to protect your mind players from you know Blizzard Brawl and all that other stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, the deck's pretty good. Uh, again, I cut the I think the card that was the I think potentially the cornerstone of the deck. They might have just put it in because they had four of them. I don't I don't really know. Um, I think the curve is too high though with Alrund and uh, Imrith. I didn't have a lot of cards. Uh, with this as well uh, to basically just play it as a five mana like I think the turn I could have played it instead of the Imrith uh, I think it would have been a 3-3 three, three or a 4-4 four, four maybe uh, so it wasn't worth it in that sense uh, but the deck's pretty sweet I think I think this the the Mind Flayer and the Tempted by the Auric I think this card is underrated actually um, I was surprised well I'm not surprised the format has a lot of um three or less mana creatures that you can steal that tend to get really, really big. Uh, and this is a pretty good answer to a lot of them. Uh, but yeah, that'll do it for this video. Uh, deck's pretty sweet. Uh, I did trim the mythic, some of the mythic cards out of it. So, um, you know, you may be able to even go down to one Imrith and maybe, you know, maybe go like this as well. That might be better. Um, but yeah, that'll do it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, you can probably check out this deck, uh, depending if you have the wild cards or not. It's pretty fun. I like the control magic aspect of it. Uh, Spectral Adversary is obviously an amazing card, and the Yawn T and Grazalax was a pretty nice combination as well. So I think there's something here. I just don't know exactly what the right build would be. I'll probably work on it a little bit and uh, maybe post a video at some point in the future. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you later.